what's up you guys welcome to my May bullet journal I'm so excited to try this this month as well thank you for the support that you've been giving me and I'm so happy that I'm making some progress and yeah so join me as I do this so before that let's look at my April bullet journal setup yeah I had a quote and my calendar as my front page I had my monthly spread had my goals and all that and yeah I didn't complete much of that as well as my habit tracker as while I was filming this I had not finished up uh, all my entries but that's how it looks that was my first week I tried out a new layout and then in the middle I just came out with ideas for YouTube and learning then I changed it up in the next week and it wasn't that cool but yeah the next page I came across some Canva quotes that really resonated with what I want so I had to put them in now this look I loved it it was just enough and classy enough to fit and I absolutely loved it so I did it in the next week I do not know how I'm going to keep my son off my book but somehow whenever I keep it down he just gets it so yeah let's uh, let's get to my Mabel journal I thought having a quote at the beginning of my journal is an awesome thing so I found this May quote the the word being May I thought it was a cool touch uh, by Nancy Mandela who said may your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears and that's what I hope to to achieve this month so yeah I went to the black and red theme away from my usual blue pen and I thought I can incorporate the royal wedding uh, as well as have some wreath over there in order to make it a little bit pretty and I thought it looked cool and now for my monthly spread I did not go with my usual spread I found this idea from a youtuber called Christine and she does a very nice setup so I thought I, sh I would try it have my calendar and my next calendar on the same page of course I had to crown my words because as you saw we are doing a royal theme and of course I found this uh, drawing on Pinterest and I thought I would try it uh, not, though not super awesome but yeah it works for me then I had my goals events appointments and notes all in a crown and some invite thingy I do not know how to call that and then I decided to go with an individual um uh, uh, habit tracker excuse me and I thought well let me see how I do with this one so this is another setup that I'm trying and so I had my few the few habits that I wanted to track though I could not fit in as much as I would have liked but yeah um <clears throat> I thought it was cool and of course I had to make it a little bit pretty with like a tiny flower at the corner <laughs> now since I found that I happen to get ideas in the middle of the of the setup I decided to add a brain dump kind of place where I would put my ideas and then of course I had to have another quote that would keep me on this journey and I had to just put it in there so that whenever I look at it I know exactly what I am after believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable yes Doris you will be unstoppable then I had to add my financial tracker I saw that I have a separate book where I can write all my my spendings or my expenditure in and I saw this from another youtuber called uh, Rachel Lee Amanda Rachel Lee and I thought it was a cool thing to try to see how I spend my money every week 
My meal plan page is also my favorite. Uh, I tend to like to plan my meals ahead of time and that way I can know how I am doing my shopping, especially in my grocery shopping. That way I know what exact meals we are having and that way I'm not stressed out. So I wrote all my weeks, all the four weeks, and at the bottom I had my shopping list for week one through four. And finally, my weekly spread. Of course, I love having a calendar at the corner of my of my work, so I definitely had to keep that in. And then with the same spread that I tried last time, I decided to use it here. I don't know how, but I couldn't really put my finger on how I can... <laughs> have all my weeks uh, all my days properly in the same page my wednesday looks a little bit short but yeah so i had to make it a little bit pretty and there we go i want you to show me how to get to know someone like you someone like you i want you to know me because i know then you'll see we could be true we can be true I want you to see what I see in us Something so real Something so real I want you to see that This is a love That we both feel That we both feel And how will we ever know If the love will ever grow Without trying Without trying Without trying, without trying 